Hi friends, so in the last section we have studied about the while loops. Now we'll cover one example of the while loop by using the factorial uh, program. How to uh, how to find out the factorial of the number? We know what is the factorial. For example, let us say five. Uh, what is the factorial of five? So the num uh, factorial of number five is five into four into three into two into one. So that would comes to 120. So this is the factorial of the program file. We will write one program uh, to fetch out the factorial of the number, any number. And uh, let's see we how we can write this program. So first of all, we I'll declare three variables. Uh, we num num is the number which we will pass for which we'll find out the factorial so i'll comment over here number to be passed for finding factorial then uh, there is one temporary i need one temporary variable to store the data so let's take it vtem and v underscore fact this is also a number and so this is the output the final factorial So these are the three, three variables which we'll declare then begin so first i'll pass the number and v num we have done the assignment operator earlier so we are using it now what is the assignment operator and how it works so uh, assignment operator we have studied that and num and is the assignment operator and we have used it here uh, and so how it will work that when i when i'll compile at the compile time it will it will ask you the uh, variable it will ask you to pass some value into the variable of uh, the data type which we have defined here so here we have defined it as a number so when we will compile the program it will ask you to pass some data into it and uh, that would help you to find out the to fetch out the result for the different different numbers like uh, you can pass five six seven any number when you find out the when you have uh, want to find out the result so we num we use it as assignment operator and then we temp to store the to store and to manipulate the result so we know that we need to do the multiplication of the numbers in this so we'll store the v number in this variable then we use we'll write the while loop so uh, while v temp is greater than zero till the temp value of v temp is greater than zero the while loop will work and when it comes to zero then it will stop working so unless and until it is greater than zero it will work when it is equal to zero it will stop working so or less than zero uh, it will stop working so now another variable v fact this is the variable in which we'll get the final result so here i'll write out v the num the number v num into v temp So uh, first I am multiplying v fact into v temp. V temp we have the number like when we when I pass when I run this program then I'll pass number five. So v fact into v temp it's one into five. Uh, here it will multiply but uh, v fact is not one anywhere. So 
for declaring it one for making it one i'll assign it as a one in the starting so this is v temp then we now we have written over there that v temp should be greater than 0 so i am decreasing a value from the v temp and then in loop so i want the final result uh, after getting out of the loop so I am writing dbms output dot put line after this factorial of number we have passed this v num and then i would write here is and then the output is v fact end so i would run this program and let's see what result it is going to return you so i've told you the assignment operator now it's asking the value for the v num you should note it down that how it works v it is asking a value for you for you the value of v num now you can we'll pass here as five okay so there is error where it is expecting v fact so let's check what is the error The error is I have forgot to return the, the loop here. Again, it's asking for the variable. Now you can see that PL SQL program is successfully completed, and the result is factorial of the number is 120. Uh, now we can we'll again run this and we can check the whether it is returning the right value for number six and all so i'll find out a value for six again so you can check that the factorial of the program is seven six is 720 so i hope you are clear with this factorial program how we are using while loop First, the VFV have passed the number 5, when, then at the first time it will uh, check that what is VFACT, VFACT is 1. So, first time it will write down here V5, uh, 1 into and the uh, VTEMP is 5. So, 1 into 5, then here we are decreasing the val one, uh, one value of VTEMP that is V5 uh, minus 1, it will give you a result of 4. So now the temp, temp is 4. Earlier it was 5. Now it is 4. And then again the it will go to while loop. While loop says that 4 is greater than 0. Yes, it is greater than 0. Now v fact. Now v fact we have 5. And v temp we have 4. So now the value will 5 into 4. That is 20. And then again it goes to 5, v temp and decrease it by 1. So this is how it will work. It will multiply the numbers and when it comes to zero it will get out of the loop but if you included the number zero then you know that when we, we multiply any of the num uh, any of the number with the zero then the result will be zero so you should be taken care of this thing and this will teach you how the loop will work try the program yourself thank you